I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of the second question in our list on optimization. The question here is, Helen is designing a cylindrical can. The can will hold 280 milliliters of juice. The metal for the side of the can costs 75 cents per centimeter square. The metal for the top and bottom which is thicker costs 1.40 per centimeter square. The side of the can is one rectangular sheet. The circular top and bottom are stamped out from another rectangular sheet. The unused metal from this rectangle is donated to a charity. The charity exchanges the scrap metal for money. What dimensions for the can will minimize the cost of material? So my approach here is to show you method of doing it you can do rest of the calculations and find the answer, right? So let us first understand the question. So what we have here is a cylindrical can whose volume is given to us. So, so let's say this is our cylindrical can, right? So this is the cylindrical can. Now, and let us assume this radius to be R and H to be the height of this can. Now it has top and bottom which is coming out from um, one rectangular sheet which is thicker right so what we will do is we'll make a thicker sheet let us say this is the thicker sheet for us right from which you take out two circles let us say these are the two circles taken out from one thick sheet in this particular case the dimensions will be so if that is the radius, there will be 4R will be the length of this and this will be 2 times R. So 2R will be the width of this. So, so that is the material used for top and bottom. As far as the sides are concerned, so that is the side. So if you open this up, cut it from here, then what you get is another piece of rectangle whose height is going to be h right so whose height is going to be h that is the width and this length will be 2 pi r right so that is going to be the lateral surface right so when we are talking about surface area we need to add cost of these two materials so effectively the area for thicker sheet is 4R times 2R and for the other sheet it is 2 pi R times H and the cost of each is given to us so that that is how we we'll, we are going to find the cost so we can write cost as equal to so the cost will be cost of top and bottom so the area is 4R times 2R so area is 4R times 2R times the cost is 1.4 so we'll multiply this by 1.4 right? plus the cost of this portion will be 2 pi r times h right so it is 2 pi r h times cost of 0 0.75 so that is how you get your cost now the idea is we need to relate radius with height and we can do that from the given volume it can hold 280 milliliters of juice so that means the volume volume will be pi r square h and volume is given to us as 280 so we have 280 milliliters equals to pi r square h so from here you can write what h is h is 280 divided by pi r square so once you use this relation right so once you use this relation you can write your equation in one variable correct so your variable now will be r so i can write the cost with r will be equals to these terms you can multiply 4 times 2 is 8 and then 1.4 also so we'll do 8 times 1.4 which is equals to 11.2 so i'm just writing 11.2 r square plus here uh, we'll multiply 2 by 0.75 1.5 so we'll do that calculation we'll just write 1.5 pi r 
times h instead of h write down 280 divided by pi r square you get the idea so simplify this a bit so which is 11.2 r square plus uh, pi and pi cancel out so this one of the r gets cancelled out right so you get 1.5 times 280 1.5 times 280 over just 420 so it is 420 divided by r and now find the derivative right with respect to r so it'll be 2 times 11.2 which is 22.4 r this is in denominator so minus 420 r square and then equate this to 0 right so equate this to 0 to get your critical point so when you equate this then that means and you solve so this is equal to this so r q so when you solve this what you get here is let me write down here itself so r q when you cross multiply will be equals to 420 divided by 22.4 and uh, that gives r value as cube root of this right so so we'll do cube root of so let me do 420 divided by 22.4 equals to and then we'll do to the power of okay to so the power of 1 over 3 so when divided by 3 or I could have used cube root 2.656 so it is r is 2.656 so you get r as 2.656 so that gives you the minimum area for the whole thing so the dimensions now you can figure out since r is known to you you can substitute the value of r find h so that is first thing so find h replace r with this value that is what you have to do one thing second thing what you should do is you should also test c of r add values before and after 2.6 so take a value which is this is two points let us say six six for us okay now take a test value on the left side and on the right side let us say you take one here and three here so what you'll notice that if you write one here right in this expression if you write one here you'll get a negative quantity so that means the rate of change for the cost is decreasing right? if you write three here in this this is divided by nine so it'll be much higher so it'll be it will be positive so so it will be positive right so because for 2.6 it is 0 so that gives you minimum do I get the idea so that is how basically you need to solve the question but I hope you have understood the concept and this is one of those examples where we are using different kinds of materials for different surfaces and I hope it gives you an idea of how to solve such questions thank you and all the best